Morning. We've just parked up at Old Dungeon Gill in Langdale, where we're going to head up for the Crinkles and Bowfell. We've got two very special guest stars with me today. One old friend and one new one. So we've got the man, man extraordinaire, oh, yeah. Dave. What's your channel, mate? Dave Ostel Mountain Man. That's the one, Dave Ostel Mountain Man. Check there. him out on YouTube. Small channel. A new friend of mine. Great to meet you, Dave. And an old friend, Dave Glenn Hewitt. Hello. Check him out on Facebook. Backpacking extraordinaire. So to save any confusion, you're Dave and you're Dave. <laughs> It's an absolute beautiful morning. We're just heading up Oxendale towards Red Tarn, where I'm going to leave the boys for half an hour. They're going to go and do Pike of Blisco, and I'm going to meet up with them on Cold Pike or maybe at Red Tarn. And then we're going to head for the Crinkles and then Bowfell, and then our return route will be via the band. Some glorious light there on the Langdales. Looking down Langdale itself. So this is Brownie Gill to the right of me. The call up there in the distance is where we'll find Red Tarn, where the boys are going to head up onto Pike of Blisco and I'm going to turn right and head up onto Cold Pike. So Dave Ostel, mountain man, has just took himself up Pike of Blisco. I'm going to head up onto Cold Pike because Dave wants to do Cold Pike as well. So he's going to meet me up there when he gets down off Blisco. I'm going to fly the drone up there, and uh, Dave Glenn Hewitt is going to. Where are you going? Crinkle Crags. Crinkle Crags. We're going to meet Dave in that call there. Not like splitting up. <laughs> <laughs> So I've just left the main path and Dave Glenn knew it down there and I'm just heading up to Cold Pike where Dave Ostel is up on Pike of Blisco he's going to drop off the ridge and he's going to come up Cold Pike from the other direction and I'm going to meet him on the summit Fantastic view of the crinkles behind me. 
that's a great knot that's a burkit on the end there cold pike summit 701 meters it's a wainwright a burkit a uit and a nut all it's got a cracking summit there's pike of blisco behind us where dave hostel mountain man is and at some point he should come along this ridge here and meet up with us We're just heading down off Cold Pike. Me and Dave, he got himself back up from the Pike of Blisco. And we're gonna go meet the other Dave down here somewhere, if he's still there. Crinkle number one, 834 meters. It's a Uit and a Nuttall. And Dave Hostel Mountain Man has beat me to the summit. Dave Glen Uit, I think, is at Crinkle number two waiting for us. We're going to head for Crinkle two now, which is the Wainwright summit, just there ahead of us. You've got the bad step at the bottom, which you can avoid. I'm going to show you how to avoid it because it's not particularly nice for getting a dog up. So that's crinkle number two and that's the bad step where them people are we're gonna head across left and avoid the bad step so that's us round the bad step nice easy path on the left hand side and we're just heading for the summit now and hopefully find Dave Glenn Hewitt crinkle number two 
859 meters. There's the summit. It's a Wainwright, a Burkitt, a Nuttall, a Hewitt, and a Hump. And here's Dave Glenn Hewitt. Yeah. You're a bit cold, lad. Your feet are freezing. <laughs> We're just going to bypass crinkle number three. That's it there, just in front of Dave. 840 metres. It's a Burkitt. 832 metres, crinkle number four. It's a Burkitt. We're going to head over to Bofell now and then back down the band. How are we doing, Dave? Not too bad. <laughs> the view down Langdale and Oxendale, absolutely fantastic. Looking over to Pike of Blisco. <laughs> One of the free towns below Bofell. And here's the other two. There's the second one. And there's the third one. We're not far from the summit of Bofell now. There's the three towns below me. And there's Mountain Man. He can shift. Spent Mountain Man. Huh? Cramped up Mountain Man. Cramp, he's cramped up a little bit. Do you want me to give you a massage? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no need to rub down. <laughs> And there's the summit of Bofell, not too far now. It's a bit of a slog up from the three tarns. We're nearly there now. I think it's about three o'clock, so I'm almost certain we're gonna run into darkness. On our way back down the band, it's quite a long walk off. There's the great slab. Drops you down to the climber's traverse. Oh. 
there's the Scarfells over the way from us. You can clearly see the shelter on Scarfell Pike and Mickledaw Broad Stand and Scarfell. It's extremely cold here on the summit of Bowfell. It's a pointy hill, really does catch the weather. The significant difference in ascent is really noticeable. But look at that sunset. Bowfell summit, 902 meters. It's a Burkitt, a Wainwright, a Hewitt, a Nuttall, and a few others. There's the summit, there's the summit can, and there's Dave Glenn Hewitt, he's beat us to it. We're almost back down to the three tarns now where we're gonna meet up with the band and uh, drop off the band back down into Langdale and Old Dungeon Gill where we parked. Beautiful light on the hills now, it's almost sunset. Turn left at the three tarns and follow this pitched path all the way down to the top of the band which is just over there. It's a good route down if you were bagging burkits because the top of the band is a burkit, white stones, it's not far off the footpath as you can see just down there we're gonna traverse underneath it because we've been up there. Pike of Blisco over the valley. Absolute beautiful mountain. One of my favourites around here. A proper pyramid. We're losing light a bit now, so I'm going to wrap my video up and say thank you for watching. It's been a great day, I think, by the time we get down the band. Dave Hostel Mountain Man will have done about 10, 11 miles, and we'll have done about nine. So, great walk. So it's bye from me. Bye from me. Goodbye. Thank you for having us. Bye from the two Daves. Oh. And the rock star.